Praise the Lord. This is the only inexhaustible text on the earth. Because it has unfathomable depth. All oh, the depth, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable his ways and his paths past finding out. One generation preached this before our generation. Another generation preached it before their own generation. And before, 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 before. From the beginning. From the beginning. Noah was a preacher of righteousness. From the beginning. So learning never stops for anyone in the school of the Bible. Learning never stops. But effectual learning will keep moving us from one class to another. You pass the test in one level, you move to the next level. You pass the test in the next level, you move to the next level. As you behold them, in his world, we are changed from glory to glory. No doubt, many changes must have taken place in World One, World Two, World Three, and it never ends. You catch it, it changes you. You catch the nest, it changes you. You catch the nest, it changes you. Your life will never experience, stop experiencing changes from glory to glory. Yeah. Because there are no ceilings on our destiny. The path of the just has a shining light and it shines more and more and more and more until the perfect day. More and more and more and more and more and more. Where you are is not your final. Amen. Amen. In fact, he said, he daily loadeth us with benefits. Daily. Daily. And they are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Daily loadeth us with benefits. Daily. So we are entitled to daily change of level. Daily. 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 Your change of level spiritually will result to practical change of level in your endeavors. Daily change of levels. You never suffer stagnation again. And the way to it is to keep looking for him in his world and keep working in the light that he shows you. And you keep shining brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter until the perfect day. That shall be our experience as individuals. Lift up your two hands, everyone, and let's give glory to God for the benefit He's loaded us with from the first, the second, the third world. In fact, beginning from the covenant hour of prayer, please join me and thank Him. Thank Him in truth and in deed. Thank him in truth and in deed. For any benefit you have received today as a person in his presence, thank him. Thank him in truth and indeed. What an awesome God we serve. I 
I now ask him, I'm ready for the next benefit. I'm ready for the He daily loaded us with benefits. I'm ready for the next benefit through the release of your word as you open my eyes. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. It's done. You are re returning from Shiloh 2021 with your new name, more than a conqueror, yeah. manifesting in all areas of your life. Yeah. All the Gentiles shall see. Yeah. They will see it at home. Yeah. They will see it at work. Yeah. They will see it on your journey. Yeah. That daughter of Zion stood up in the plain, the midst of turbulence. I'm not dying now. What's happening? Is she mad? No. Out of the abundance of the heart. Now, in the name of Jesus, all the Gentiles will see that you now carry a new name. the Gentiles we see that you now carry a new name in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please you may be seated. Operating in the realm of more than a conqueror. I will call it the series I'm dealing with, but everything we're hearing here is towards manifesting as more than the conqueror. Everything we're learning from here is towards manifesting as more than the conqueror. David said, as we heard in the last message, moreover, because of my affection for the house of my God, it, it's not because I want to show off, because of my affection. Then my son said, as he built God a house, <laughs> through thick and thin for seven years, that made the wife to leave. And now, because of my affection for the house of my God, I've given all of my private treasures. And then house restored, life restored, everything torn. The, the testimonies are not fit for details. They are not fit for details. Many things will happen in this your era of more than a conqueror that may not be fit for details. I have many things to tell you, but you can't handle them now. So I'm holding them. I don't want to run away. <laughs> I'm holding them. <laughs> because of the awesomeness of it. The awesomeness of it. That's how awesome your more than a conqueror era will be. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. We're going on the part two of the place of Rema in operating in the realm of more than a conqueror. Please know that Rema is a two channel mystery. God speaks to his people directly in passing his instructions and giving of direction. I 
And God answers us by a voice. Which many have not been hearing, but from last night, your spiritual ears are now open. <laughs> On Montenegro, Moses spoke to God, and God answered him by a voice. Exodus 19, 19. So you are not assuming God answers by a voice. One day my wife and I were praying to know what God is saying concerning my pull in the spirit towards going to Kaduna. And in the course of the prayer, he says, stand up. He answers by a voice. Take your Bible. And I took my Bible. And he opened it, I believe, because I didn't flip no page. And I said, Lord, what shall I do? And the Lord said, arise and go down to Damascus. He was speaking to me from the picture of the Bible. In answer to that prayer. Acts 22, verse 10. And I said, Lord, what shall I do? He said, arise. So I tap I said, God has just answered. On our way to Damascus. Is that Damascus in Nigeria? <laughs> We're asking, should we go to Kaduna or not? And he answered. And I said, Lord, what shall I do? And the Lord said, arise. Life, not guesswork. Alimony. Now, we were in prayer in Kaduna. Why is this church not growing? Not the church, just about four of us. And he said, stand up. Life. Hot afternoon. My God. And follow me. I stood up. He didn't say, and tell them where you are going. Follow me. So. So do you see him? I didn't, but I'm following him. <laughs> For no man shall see my face and leave. But I could see the shepherd leading me. At the point, he said, now turn back here. <laughs> then he opened my eyes physically, and I saw a layer of thick darkness spread on the roof of the church. Now deal with it. You false spirit of darkness. There's a light that shines in darkness. Darkness cannot handle. Get off that roof now. And I saw it rolled away like a carpet. Then he stood there and gave me four instructions that guarantees unending church growth. That's what he traded to this point. We'll be trading it for life. He always answers my voice. Lord, clear my hearing. I want to hear from you. So he can speak to us directly and speak to us through the pages of scriptures because the voice of God is behind every statement of scriptures. <laughs> they don't buy experience in the market. Though. You have to experience it. God still speaks today. Now, seek a quiet place I want to talk to you. That's the origin of this commission. The next person I saw is, excuse me, is there any hotel in the outskirts here? And then heavens came down. God still speaks. There is no verse of scripture that says, you know, um, seek a quiet place I want to talk to you. Or if, it, if there was, I didn't know it. God still speaks today. I decree that this Shiloh will leave you with that evidence of the speaking God. God still speaks today. 
no one among us will miss his or her steps anymore. Now, interestingly, let's go down to John 10, 3 and 4. To him the potter opened, and the sheep hear his voice, and he called his own sheep by name, and led them out. Lord, give me an experience of you calling me by name. How many want to hear that? Now, now, that's how to personalize his instructions. His counsel. He wants you to know I'm the one speaking, and I'm speaking not to the air. I'm speaking to you. He calls them by name. There was only one time God called me boy. I thought of that time, my son David. When I was going off his agenda for my life to get married to somebody else, I mean to propose to somebody else, boy, you are wrong. And he has the right to. We are told it's your father. It's my father. Boy! What? Blind? Deaf? At every other time, with that is baritonic bone tone that I'm used to over the years, my son. Even if you don't want to be rich, it's too late. Swan blessing. Come and say swan blessing. There are things you do that brings on your life a swan blessing. Swan blessing. My son, my prosperity plan is not a promise. That is, open your two ears, my son, my son. And then calls it, my son, David. No mistake. From this Shiloh onward, God will be calling you by your name. If I have any problem with anything, not with where I am now by grace, it's no guesswork. It's by definite instructions, definite commandments, no guesswork. I didn't feel sorry once for coming to this place. I didn't walk overnight. No. The first Sunday here, we only feel, we didn't feel this arm. We didn't feel it. No. But we scattered over this arm. Amen. You know what it means to scatter? We scatter over this arm because there were pews here. I said, let me come down here now because there's no point scattering all over. Just come down. And I said, as the Lord liveth, We'll be starting second service any moment. No confusion. No, are we right? You never take any regrettable step anymore in your life. You never run another man's race in your life. You will remain on course all the days of your life. Yeah. Let me by reminder, anytime we stop, we stop. That nothing destroys doubt like access to the voice of God. Nothing destroys doubt like access. To the voice of God. Because his voice is powerful. His voice is full of majesty. His voice 
breaks the cedar, even the hardest of cedars, the cedar of Lebanon, nothing destroys doubt. Like the access to the voice of God. And nothing destroys a believer like lack of access to that voice. Stagnates, frustrates, can be devastating. Who is there for my servant? I'm blind of my message that I've sent. Say many things, he understands them. He had many things, he understands them not. And he set about with fire around about him, yet he knew it not. Isaiah 42, verse 18 to 24. As thou not procured this for thy saving, that thou hast forsaken the Lord when he led thee by the way. You didn't know what God is saying. So you can't follow it and then just follow into trouble and challenges. That will not be you anymore. <laughs> One counsel from 10,000 concerning apostles will never match God's direct direction. Will never match God's because the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. The counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. The counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. The counsel of the Lord only, that shall stand. You won't miss access to his counsel anymore. You hear what Jesus said? I can on my own self do nothing as I hear. So I act upon. Amen. And see the proofs in my life. John 5 30. As I hear. And as my father sent me, so send I you. You won't stop hearing from now anymore. Now, his voice is behind his word. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The Almighty thundered. The voice of the Lord is upon many waters. Psalm 29 and verse 3. It's thunderous. The voice of the Lord is powerful, is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the sand. My God, upon many waters. What are we talking about? Psalm 55, verse 1. Oh, every man that thirsted, come ye to the waters. What's the meaning? So shall my word be, which is gone forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void. So God's word is defined as waters. Come to the waters. Whatever you find there shall not come back void. It shall accomplish that which I purpose. Come to the waters. And what do you find there? The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The Almighty thundering. The voice of the Lord is upon many waters. Every verse of scripture carries God's voice behind it. For my mouth it has spoken, and my spirit it has gathered them. So the voice of God is behind every statement of scriptures. My God. I was in Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, in 1981. Those who do know their God, they shall be strong, and they shall do exploits. He said, you don't need to know any man to scale the highest height. Just know me. 
direct. So, <laughs> later on I read about Paul to say, I know no man after the flesh. But I heard it from him. To scale the utmost height in life, you don't need to know no man. Just know me. My God, it was an intoxicant. Because limited or vain is the help of man. When a man takes you, he can only take you to how far his hand can go. But when the everlasting arm of God picks you from the far, 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 far behind, he throws you up to the higher side. And his name is the most high. And his hand is higher than him. Every man's hand is higher than him. True or false? Or are you shorter than your hand? So when he throws that everlasting arm to the prison, he picks the prisoner out to the palace. So send us help of God. For vain is the help of man. He said, woe unto them that trust a man and make it flesh. His, his arm. He shall dwell in a desert place, not inhabited. He shall not see when good cometh. The almighty thunders, he thunders behind his wall. Unmistakable sound behind this world. We got into the privilege mystery of each free marriage by heaven's dictate. I was asking God, He may not answer you the day you are asking Him, but watch out for His answer. He always answers by force to establish His covenant with His people. I have not ordained marriage for better and for worse. I wasn't the one. Religious people did that. My ordination for marriage is that two are better than one and they have a good reward for their labor. One shall chase a thousand and two shall put ten thousand to flight. I was looking for paper, scrapping for paper that I could write it on because it was dictating the answer to the prayer I've been praying and the books I've been reading to me in a public vehicle. Please, please, do you have any paper? Any paper? As if there's a danger happening. He dictated to me the seven concepts of marriage. I never read not the eight books I read. And I stood up from that place with a declaration set for a history of marriage. He always answers by his thunderous voice behind his word. Your marriage is off that frequency of for better, for worse. Yeah. Every challenge home today, every separated family, I decree peace be still. Yeah. For every divorce with the devil orchestrated, I decree supernatural restoration. His voice thunders. His instructions are through the channel of his still small voice. But behind scriptures is a thundering. Wow. But thou shalt not borrow. I'm talking to you. And I, my, it was too strong to, to ignore. I entered into a covenant. Right there and there. I said, Why, Lord, the borrower is servant to the lender. You cannot serve two masters. You choose one and despise the other. 
and said, I choose you, my God, and I despise the lender for life. I've never seen a temptation to borrow. I just enjoy contentment at every level of my life with excitement. With uh, there is no self-pity. With utmost excitement. I enjoy God's grace at every level of my life with rejoicing. His voice thunders behind this world. Access to his voice destroys doubts. Bow. And then you go. May that Bible become life in your hand. Yeah. When you open your Bible, await the news from the Father. Await what? Await the news from the Father. Watch out for the news from the Father. For my mouth it has spoken. And my spirit has gathered them. Isaiah 34 verse 16. to the waters. Come for the voice of direction, the voice of instruction, the voice of breakthroughs. Amen. Amen. So no devil can make me doubt the reality of kingdom prosperity. I had it myself. I had him say he turned that behind it. Chapter 8 verse 18. He turned that behind it. My son, my prosperity plan is not a promise. Because we are used to claiming promises in those days. You know how to claim promise? God said it. I believe it, whether I do anything to have it or not. That settled it, and yet we are not settled. So when he says it's not a promise, it turned out. It has no respect. It does not answer to prayers, and has no respect for fasting. I wasn't taught by man, the voice of God behind this wall, turned that it across to me. And I stood up and spinned like cocoon. Say, yeah, I can never be poor. Somebody would think it's madness. No, it's the thunder. <laughs> when one wind is coming, you know it can carry you. <laughs> when the one wind of God's voice carries you, you just begin to manifest. Yeah, I can never be poor. Are you fighting? No. <laughs> I'm taking my stand. In the voice of God. You can't mistake his voice from behind his wall. You can't mistake his voice. You can't mistake his voice behind his wall. In the name of the Lord Jesus, your Bible will not be reduced to a history book. He said, in him was life. And the life is the light of men. And that light shines in darkness. And darkness can come near it. When God thunders, darkness clears. Now, let's look at some examples of, in scriptures, of voice made or rema made more than conquerors. Rema made more than conquerors. The first example we look at here is Moses. We heard about his commission, great. But there's a one particular thing that happened to Moses that changed his perspective of his life forever. Exodus chapter 7 and verse 1. The Lord said unto Moses, See, my God, see, look here. I have made thee a God unto Pharaoh. That's where his more and conqueror's status began to manifest. He addressed Pharaoh as a God. See, I have made thee a God. Who can stop him? I have made thee a God unto Pharaoh. And Aaron shall be your prophet. I have made thee a God. So whatever Moses said, 
that Aaron declared. Pharaoh bowed as he from Moses. That's all sense of the prophets. They manifest the fullness of the grace of that prophet that they are truly hooked onto. Amen. Miriam was the one that took up that accusation against Moses. Aaron kept quiet. I'm a prophet of Moses. You are a member of the flock. He kept quiet. And God came down to silence Miriam for his big mouth or her big mouth. I've made the ego. And not only you. All those who believe in your God. My prayer is that the world that will establish you in the realm of more than a conqueror. And I know you are hard. Quite some. But you will hear the thunder of it. Amen. Can I hear you loud and say amen? amen? I decree your access to the thunder of the world that will establish you in the realm of more than a conqueror. We got to that country where one celebrated worldwide um, queen of Shiva was a major satanic queen. And we just got into the hotel, no idea of anybody that was there, as she heard that I was there. She packed her luggage, fled the country, not the town, not the hotel, fled, fled. Now, he has not seen me. I've not seen her. But we can't stay together in any place. Not to be in the country. He fled. You leave this Shiloh. Mm. You put all the armies of the aliens that have been challenging you in one area or another, you put them all to flight. Yeah. You put them all to flight. Yeah. Somebody was very angry at a Muslim convert in Abuja who had a sticker, a sticker with my photo in it, and his fellow angry people, when they unscratch, one of them was scratching my face on the sticker, sticker, and his eyes started closing. Went blind. Scratching sticker. Everyone that mocks your God will go down for you. There are many things that are not fit for details. They are not fit for details. We all need more anointing to receive them. <laughs> and all that comes from the thunderings behind the wall. You are seated far above. That author didn't write that. No. That testimony demonstrated it. And his voice sounded behind his wall. And I went to that meeting and I said, how many of you are witches here? Stand up. When his voice thunders, your authority level changes. When his voice thunders, your authority level changes. Raise up together with him. Meet us together with him in heavenly places. Say, where is that? Far above all principalities and powers. Well, by the thunderings of scriptures, no one toys with my life and go free. <laughs> no one. 
you get to a point by revelation where you become the apple of God's eyes. Particularly when you are walking in it. You're walking in it. You're walking in it. In the same manner, no evil eyes looks at you for a heart and survive. That's your new level. I'd like you to just see the Bible as God's news book where himself is the newscaster. The Almighty. And he turned us. He doesn't speak. The voice of the Lord turned us. It's a new dawn for you. Yeah. No one sets his eyes to hurt your family and goes free. Yeah. Moses had the torn downings of God's word. Made thee a God unto Pharaoh. He just came aware of his more than conqueror's status. You won't miss your place in the name of Jesus Christ. Thou shalt not go down to Egypt. Isaac said, Yes, sir. And he became mightier than the nation where he lived. Mightier. They went and made peace with him. They will not destroy them because they have not done him any evil. He made a feast for them. They are all small, small boys. So eat and go back home. I won't destroy you. Is that okay? Let's go. Now, it was a threat to the place God said, this is where to be. Don't go to where everybody's going. Stay where I ask you to be. He became the envy of the strongest nation of his days. By the thunderous voice of command that he had. And the men were just going from pillar to post, pillar to post, pillar to post, pillar to post. I think it's happening now in Canada, let's go. No, no, no. It's now in Asia. Let's go. Uh, okay. Ash. I think I heard that it's now happening in South Africa. Go. They just keep going and going and going. Well, you don't know where you're going. Anywhere looks like it. Yes, sir. Well, you don't know where you're going. Anywhere looks like it. Well, you don't know where you're going. Anywhere looks like it. I've never wished to be somewhere else and where you asked me to be. I've never wished. I've not desired. I've never desired it. Now go, why don't you ask me to be somewhere? No, you know where I should be. That, that's where I'll be. You know where I should be. You know, Jesus told me, don't get out of this country. It's four years plus. I've not wished or desired to get out. We have our own transportation system. We have our own plane. We have our own anger. I've never desired it. Stay here and I stay and I can tell you the rate of advancement, not by being anything, but by obeying him. By, by obeying him. In the name of Jesus, you won't miss your place in life. When we were in Yanepaja, a friend of mine came from outside the country. He said, no, uh, we can't expect you to be here. No, 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 no. This is not where your status belongs. I said, this is where I'm sent. I've never seen a full animal and leave his sheep you know, where he's set and go to town to say he's on vacation. He won't meet anything when he comes. No. Now, he has built himself a city in a land that has no hope, in a land that is barren. 
the thunderous voice of God is worthy of anything. Please give it attention. You won't go your own anymore. Because a man that wanders from his place is as a bird that's missed his way. Rema made more than conquerors in scriptures. We have Gideon. God spoke to him. He responded. You know, God is also the Rema we're talking about. He's a voice behind this world. Um, a man of no identity became the champion of God's people. God will change your story. 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 Change your story. Yeah. We have to skip a number of things and head on for a conclusion. To hear the voice of God, either directly or behind his voice, please note. Note the following. Engage the altar of the prayer of inquiries. Don't wait forever. It's not just a prayer answering God, it's a question answering God. Call upon me, not only with your needs, but also with your questions. And I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Engage the altar of the prayer of inquiries. David asked, Second Samuel chapter 5 and verse 18 to 20. Shall I go? Will you deliver the feelings to my hands? And God said, Go. I will surely deliver the feelings into your hand. Instant, sir. Instant. They came together again. To fight against Israel. And David asked the Lord, Shall I go? And God answered, Thou shalt not go. Hold it until you hear the sound of the moving on the moving the tree. Then be still yourself, for I've given you the victory. <laughs> Engage the altar of the prayer of inquiry. Lord, what are you saying? Are we moving on to Kaduna or staying back here? Stand up. Take your Bible. Same hour. It's a prompt question answering God. First Samuel chapter 30 verse 6 to 9. After that devastating situation that people thought of stoning David. He said, I know how to get the answer. Lord, shall I pursue these troops? Verse 6 to 9. Shall I overtake them? Shall I recover all? So he took 400 weary people. Let's go. God said, go ahead. For he shall surely overtake them and without faith recover all. So they went after them at the voice of answer from heaven. And David recovered all. There was nothing left that was not recovered. Engage the altar of the prayer of inquiry. Only those who ask questions are entitled to answers. Only those who ask questions are entitled to answers. Number two. Be committed to working in the spirit. Because he can tell you anything at any time. 
I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I had. Now, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Revelation 1.10 and then Galatians 5.25. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. I was in the bathroom when God said, arise, get down to Lagos. So it's not on the prayer altar. It's not worshiping God. It's not somewhere. I was just excited, singing my regular praises, and entering the bathroom. Arise, get down to Lagos with me, people. It's not tasteful in terms of excitement. <clears throat> Get down to Lagos because he needed to turn that it for me to know it's not playing, it's not a joke. In the bedroom, I was in a car coming from Zaria when the Lord opened up Africa. See what you have here today, amen. So, be a man that is committed to walk in the spirit. You can't walk in the spirit if you are not a man of the spirit. I was in the spirit. <laughs> and I have and I have not in the spirit in the church I was in the spirit committed to walk in the spirit and I have committed to walk in the spirit and I have you want to assess the voice of God either directly or the one that turned us behind this voice behind this word then be committed to walking in the spirit Number three, be committed to a lifetime, a lifestyle of praise. Thou shalt have a song as in the night, and the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard. <laughs> be songful, be joyful is a requirement for assessing the voice of God. And the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard. Everything that murmurs and complains in any one of us drops off you finally. Yeah. It drops off today in your life. Yeah. Be joyful. Paul the apostle, a man of unusual revelation. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. You don't know what you are missing when you are not rejoicing. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice. I'm glad in it. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. My God. Well, I have to talk about that time. I don't know what it means. The day my mother died, I heard from heaven. The day my mother died, I don't have two mothers. The day she died, I heard about this air conditioning, central air conditioning. The day, not the following day. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let the past be past. Or you pass away with it. The past is irreparable. Leave it there. I'm just telling you that rejoicing is not about something that's happening groovy and great. It's a requirement for staying on course in your work with God. Come and give the Lord praise. Stand to your feet. We can't never say it all. We say what he permits to be said, and then we leave the remaining to him. Lift up your two hands. Give thanks to God. Celebrate his faithfulness in your life. Jesus' precious name, 
we have prayed. The Lord spoke to me something against tonight. We are having tonight the celebration of the release of Miracle Babies. There shall be waves of more than conquerors conceptions. You will stand far above medical restrictions. Your testimony will break all medical protocols. So come along with your miracle babies, miracle babies items, and you carry them back as live babies. Every single person. This is for all of us across the nations of the earth. I can tell you by the word of the Lord that not one person, no matter how unlikely it has been called, they have tagged it impossible. But now with your new more than conqueror status, The God of all possibilities in you will rise to silence those impossibilities. Now, name those children before you come. Name them. Give me a man child. Decide the sex. Of babies you are looking for. And God gave her a man child. And because the word says, you shall be blessed. There shall none be barren among you, nor among your cartoons. Neither men or female be barren among you, nor among your cartoons. You can't be fruitful without being married. In terms of childbearing. So everyone on the line for miracle marriages, come down with the date that you desire to be married and leave the rest to him. It will be said concerning your case, we have never seen it in this fashion. It will be said concerning you, we have seen strange things today. In a place where a 69 year old we give back to a set of twins for the first time. The first child at 69. My God. Husband 77. A set of twins at that age. First experience. My God, your case is settled. No fallopian tubes. Zero spam can. Standing with babies on the altar, your case is settled. Someone here got married first time at 50. First time. Anyone who says your case is belated is a liar. Tonight, because you are ordained to be fruitful and you have a job towards your children, you are declared married. God is not a magician, you come with faith. He can't believe for you. Your prophet can't believe for you. You take your stand in faith and God will move in your favor. Yeah. Lift up your two hands and give him thanks. No one like our God. He reigns forever and forever. Celebrate him. Yeah. Amen. Now, hearing from God is not a gift. It's a birthright. We are hearers of God and joined hearers with Jesus. 
It's not, oh, you know, there are some men of God they hear from God. I was a boy of God when I started hearing from God. Amen. I was God's boy when I started hearing from him. I began hearing from God at 22. At 22 in distinctive terms. It's your bad right. And I pray right now that the Holy Ghost bust open your spiritual ears. Yeah. To the voice of the Spirit. Yeah. It's not just for men and women of God. Yeah. It's for everybody to continue to be guided in your business and career. In your engagements at home and at work. It's everybody's bad ride. Kate must leave this mountain with you. Yeah. Give him praise.